Hi guys, welcome back to another Matchbox Garage unboxing video and today I have two little packages that I don't know what's in here because they are sent to Matchbox Garage and it's not that I've bought them from eBay, these are you know, kind of donations or gifts or uh, fan mail, whatever you may wish to call them, but quite excited by these. I've, you know, taken the edge off and I've put a knife through here. I don't want to show on camera myself cutting my finger off, but I haven't actually had a look at these, so we'll have a little look, see what we've got. Alright, ah, looks like there's a little something in here. Hi, my son, Dylan Waldron, age 10. Good age, good age. I loves your videos and hopes you can do something with these cars. Uh, Caroline Waldron. I assume Caroline is mummy. And uh, Dylan, age 10. Thank you, young man, for watching my videos. I do hope you like them. And actually, you should you know, give it give it a little go yourself. But it looks like you may be giving it a little go yourself. And I think you've been doing a good job so far, mate. So you've got a Ford Cortina Mark 4 or Mark 5 is this? Hand-painted in a lovely blue colour with blacked out windows. Very cool. I like it, mate. That is very nice. We've got a Ford Transit from 1986. So, to young Dylan, 1986 was well, that was years ago, wasn't it? He was born in the year 2000, so... This is a really old one. Painted in a lovely black colour. Nice, mate. Ah, now we're talking. Look at this one. This is a Matchbox Super Fast number 24 Shunter, made in England. 1978 so this is over 40 years old and it's it's been covered in a, a white paint did you use your mum's nail varnish on this one I bet you you did eh but that is very cool and that is going to go in my pile to restore and I will get to that as soon as I can. So keep an eye out on my videos and you will see this restored. Thank you very much for sending in these cars. And thank you, Mum, Caroline, uh, for doing that. Much appreciated. Now, yeah, on to this one. Now, I've, to be honest, chap here, Scott Thomas. He's got his PO box. So I don't mind showing this address. Um, is in the US, what's that, Kentucky, Midway, Kentucky. Um, he's obviously an artist. You can just tell in you know, the, the way he writes here. Um, and on the back here, some artwork. Camilla Nerdsley says, Cool YouTube channel, Cody's Lab, a very well done science channel. Um, I actually do know uh, Cody's Lab, and it is indeed a very well done science channel. Uh, he's got over a million subscribers, so he's, this, this guy is obviously no joke. Um, and uh, this chap, Scott, you know, thank you very much, sir. It's cost you twenty four dollars, so it's you know it's expensive. This this stuff. Uh, May third. What are we now? May. 9th or 10th so that's you know super fast uh but it reads underneath here toy cars so well let's have a little look see what you got um i actually do remember seeing this style of artwork on a video i want to say just a week ago on uh wheels and things so he's obviously a, a die cast um fan and i can only thank you for not only watching my videos but taking the time out for for sending me this package whatever is inside it unless it's dog poo uh, maybe i'll retract it but see i've never been to the us and i would love to go see these little things <laughs> see this to me you know there's this just a standard box 
and then well Franklin County Arts Council I said he was this guy was probably an artist no just little things like this in need of a ride call us some taxi company wherever this is but see I like this because you know I never get to the US so um, you know seeing these little things oh there's another one <laughs> what's this one Joanna Hay Productions video oral history uh, arts and culture I'm gonna guess there's something here oh there we go oh Charlie's 20% off save on your next meal see you know this kind of interest and in art I'll keep this box I'll just you know I just to me this is art um, there's a note here which I'm gonna read but first of all what does this bit say uh, jammed transmissions a Star Wars podcast live recording with Timothy Zion um, Saturday the f well, I was going to say the full fobs in the UK we do the, the other way around <clears throat> excuse me uh, so April 20th in the Elliot room games prizes and audience hi so this is April 26th okay so a few cars and one boat why not a Mad Max boat that is a good idea Scott or a zombie apocalypse boat just a fault for Mad Max Monday so the dune buggy um, maybe I should pull this out as I go so let's let's read this first so the dune buggy as I recall you said that you like the classic dune or the beach buggies we call it the beach buggy in the UK uh, these used to be a very common in the 70s not so much now so I restored a beach buggy the what it was like um it was like a pink color with yellow polka dots on it, it looked like Mr. Blobby, but in the UK you'll know who Mr. Blobby is. But um, and I restored it in a gold colour, and um, most people like that. But uh, anyway, so most were fiberglass bodies on a Volkswagen floor plan, uh, pan rather than pan. I lived in Florida for a few years in the mid 70s and saw plenty of them. A common colour was the metal flake blue sounds very nice i enjoy your videos especially mad max monday keep up the good work scott thank you scott um you're one of few people that enjoy mad max monday i must admit only a small amount of my uh, kind of subscriber base seem to be watching the mad max monday i don't want to can it yet um you know but hopefully it kind of uh, it improves but uh, uh thank you let's have a little look see what we've got See, again, all right, so there's cars in these uh, plastic bags. To me, this plastic bag is is of interest. Kind of, perhaps a, a nerd like that. Oh, wow, well, okay, so what we've got here. So this is a matchbox from year 2000. It's a 1955 Cadillac Eldorado. I love those wheels on it, they are cool. And just what a beautiful style of car. Huge, I guess, in real life. Whoops. They really don't make them like that anymore. But now to most of you guys in the US, you're probably thinking, why are you excited about this bag? But, you know, I don't get to go to this shop, so great food of low prices Kroger Kruger made in the USA warning to avoid damage I'm going to keep that bag and I shall be using these bags ok oh that's cool on there very nice so this is oh this is the matchbox uh, watercraft with trailer 1998 to be honest that's in 
Oh, it's in perfect condition. It's got a bit of, needs a bit of a clean. Um, have I got any cars to hand? Um, do you know what? The only one I've got right next to me is my Escort Rally car. Let's get, see if that goes on there. Yep. So there you go. You're off to your rally. Take your jet ski with you. <laughs> Very cool. I enjoy, I'm a, I'm a big kid. Big kid at heart still. So I still like to have fun. I know what this is. A Ford Supervan. How cool is that? I've actually got one of these. I might have two. But I think this one's probably in the best condition. 1985, I would have been two years old. I want to, I want to kind of, not necessarily restore this, but I want to customize one of these. But I'm just struggling, like how I would do it, as in, you know, because they've got just like a black window. Um, you know, I could put a bit of detail in the front here, but you know, do I do a solid color? Um, do I do a? I don't know. I need a bit of, I need a bit of inspiration. I think to to customize one of these. So if you down in the comments, if you can give me a couple of, a couple of hints or ideas, I would definitely appreciate that. See that this is the artist here. We got. All sorts of stuff glued into this box. Tennessee, is that the Tennessee Rafe Chasers versus the Ghost Brothers? These are the rematch. What are they, a band or? I don't even know what they are. We've got, I think we've got some receipts. I don't even know what they're for. Lo longer life mini bulbs. <laughs> So it's just been to, um, is it a Winchester Rural King? Is that a shop name? And then looks like he's been to another shop. Some get more of what you love. I'm gonna keep this box as is because I just, just find this very interesting. And then, last but not least, it's double bagged. So the first bag is Rural King America's Farm and Home Store. creative life well download our app I tell you what that is a great life motto eh? live a creative life and seemingly Scott certainly does and a brand new matchbox so this is the beach buggy or the what's this the Baja bandit what do you guys call it in America? Dune buggy. Awesome. To be honest, I'd like to just keep that to one side with my special American bags in my artistic box. The most artistic kind of um, postage box I think you'll ever come across. Um, and I'll keep that together. But Scott, Thank you very much, mate. Uh, much appreciated. Um, yeah, blown away by this one, mate. So um, I could, all I could just say is thank you. <laughs>